Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I designed this makeup slash lash business website on Shopify. This website is perfect for cosmetic, lash, hair, and skincare businesses. And this website is mobile and desktop responsive, so it looks perfect on mobile devices. In today's video, I'll be using the softwares Shopify and Canva. If you're unfamiliar with Canva, you can set up a free account and create all kinds of graphics, such as logos and web banners for your website. Without further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. Alright, first you're going to open Shopify, then go to online store, and then themes. When you scroll down, you'll see all of Shopify's free website themes. I'll be installing the original Dawn theme, and this is going to be the base for the website. When you click this icon, it will show you how the website is going to look in full screen. And when you click this phone icon, it will show you how the mobile version is going to look. First, I'm going to click on this header, and under desktop logo position, I'm going to set this to top center. This way, your logo will display in the center of the website. Click theme settings, then social media. And here, you can paste in the links to your brand's social media pages. Then I'm going to click on the announcement bar, and I'll be displaying the social media icons. And those clickable social media icons will display here on the announcement bar and on the footer of your website. Then I'm going to remove the announcement bar text, but you can leave that in if you would like. Click colors, then open color scheme 1. I'm going to set the background to a pink color. Then I'm going to open color scheme 4 and set the background to the color black. You're going to click on the announcement bar and set this to color scheme 4. Then you're going to click logo, and here you can upload your brand's logo and favicon image straight from your computer. I'd recommend having your logo in a transparent PNG format, and under desktop logo width, you can increase the size of your logo. When you scroll down and scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. That is called a sticky header, and right here you can remove that effect if you would like. You're going to click Typography, and I'll be changing this main font to the font Archivo Narrow Bold. Then I'm going to change the secondary font to the font Cabin Bold. When customers click Catalog, this will take them to the Shop All section of your website. And when they click Contact Us, this will take them to your contact form. If you'd like to design a more custom navigation bar, you're going to open Shopify, then go to Online Store, and then Navigation. Open your main menu, and here you can edit the current menu items and add new menu pages. That's how I designed the header portion of the website. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the slideshow. To design the slideshow section, first you're going to import a slideshow. Then I'm going to scroll down and remove this image banner. I'm going to remove the heading and the subheading, then remove the container. Then you can retitle the button label and select a link leading to a page or a product collection within your website. Under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom center. Then I'm going to repeat those steps for the second slide. And for this slide under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom right. Click add block and I'm going to repeat those steps for this third slide. Under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom left. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed these three web banners. You're going to open Canva and click custom size. And the dimensions I'm going to be doing for those web banners are 4320 by 2160 pixels. I'm going to set the background to a pink color. Then when you click upload, then upload files, you can upload your brand photos and your product pictures straight from your computer. I'll be using Canva's background removal feature. This is a Canva Pro feature, so if you don't have Canva Pro, I'll list a few free background removal editors that you can use. Then you're going to upload a text box. I'm going to put this in uppercase, then bold. Then apply the font Roboto, and I'm going to put this in italic. Upload another text box. Apply the font to Baby's New, then put this in bold. I'm going to duplicate this. And this is going to create a sideways text effect. Then you can upload one last picture of your products. Click add page. I'm going to upload a square shape. Then you can upload one of your brand photos. Then I'm going to be duplicating this three times. Then you can just drag and drop more of your product photos. Upload a text box. Then apply the font to Baby's New. And put this in bold. Then I'm going to upload another text box. Put this in bold, then italic, and I'm going to apply the font to Roboto. Click add page, then I'm going to scroll up and copy and paste these image boxes. Then I'm going to scroll up and copy and paste both of these text boxes. I'm also going to copy and paste this tagline text. Once you're finished, these will be the three web banners for the slideshow. This last step is optional, but I'm going to search for a faded element. And this is going to create a subtle shadow effect at the top of each banner. Then you're going to download each of these pages individually in a PNG format for the best quality. Back here on Shopify, you're going to click Select Image, and you can upload that main web banner straight from your computer. Under Slide Height, I'm going to set this to Adapt to First Image. Then I'm going to set the Pagnation Style to Dots. You can also select auto-rotate slides if you would like the slides to automatically move when customers are on your website. Then you can upload those remaining web banners. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the slideshow section.
By the way, this Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify theme template in a downloadable format for in case you just don't have time to design your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that into your store. I've included a step-by-step -step installation guide to help you with installing and editing this website template. And this is a full template bundle. So I've also included all of the Canva templates that you'll see me creating throughout this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva. So all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these templates. This pre-made Shopify website template will save you a ton of time. And I will link that in my description box below. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the collection list. First, I'll be importing an email signup. Then I'm going to retitle this section and set this to color scheme 4. Then I'm going to import a rich text. And I'm going to remove the description and the button label. Then I'm going to import a collection list. Be sure to enable the swipe on mobile. Then when you click on a collection, it will allow you to select each collection you'd like to feature. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with collections on Shopify, they're just categories you've chosen to create to assign certain products to. That way you can keep your products on your store organized. For this section, I'll be displaying six collections. So I'm gonna duplicate this section. You can also enable the view all button if your store has more than six collections. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed these collection covers. Here on Canva, I'm gonna click custom size and the dimensions I'm gonna be doing for the collection covers are 1000 by 1000 pixels. I'm gonna set the background to a pink color. Then I'm gonna upload a circle image frame. Then I'm gonna upload a text box. Then apply the font to baby's new. Put this in bold and I'm gonna click effects and apply the lift effect. Then you can drag and drop your product photo to represent that collection. Once you're finished, these will be the covers for those collections. Then you can just download each of these pages. Then when you open Shopify and go to products, then collections, and create a new collection. Under image, you can upload that collection cover image. Then here on our Shopify website, you can go ahead and feature that collection. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the collection list. And here's how this section is gonna appear on mobile. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the about us section. First, I'm gonna import an image banner. Then I'm going to remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile. And I'm going to remove the second button label. Then you can retitle this section. Then you can retitle the main button label and select a link. I'm going to set this to color scheme 4. Then I'm going to import a rich text. And I'm going to remove the text and the button label. I'm going to set this to color scheme 4. Then reduce the top and bottom padding. Then I'm going to duplicate this section. Then position this below the image banner. That will create a border for the section. Back here on Canva, you're going to open that same web banner page and click add page. I'm going to upload a square shape. Then you can upload one of your brand pictures. Next, I'm going to search for a faded circle element and I'll be uploading one of these onto the page. And by the way, if you don't have Canva Pro, just be sure to use the free elements that don't have the Canva Pro badge. Then I'm going to upload a text box. Then I'm going to put this in bold and apply the font to Baby's Knee. Upload another text box. Then apply the font Holiday. Next, you can download this page and upload it into that image banner here on Shopify. Under image behavior, I'm going to apply the zoom in on scroll. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the about us section. And here's how this section is going to appear on mobile. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the shop qualities section. First, you're going to import a multi-column. I'm going to remove the heading and the button label. Then I'm going to set the column alignment to center and remove the secondary background. You're going to enable the swipe on mobile. Then when you click on a column, under heading, you can list each of the qualities your store offers. And under description, you can write a mini description to match. Back here on Canva, you're going to click add page. I'm going to upload a circle shape. You can search for the icons to represent each of those shop qualities. Then you can download each of these icons. And here on Shopify, you can upload each of those icon images. Under image width, I'm going to set this to half width of column. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the shop qualities section. Next, I'll be showing you how to add the featured product collection. First, you're going to import a featured collection. I'm going to retitle this section. Then I'm going to enable the swipe on mobile. And be sure to enable the view all button if this collection has more than four products. Then when you click select collection, you can choose which collection you'd like to feature. For an example, most people feature their best-selling collection. Once you're finished, that's how I added the featured product collection. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the second web banner section. First, I'm going to import an image banner. Then I'm going to set this to color scheme 4. You can retitle this section and you can retitle the button label and select a link. Here on Canva, you're going to click add page. I'm going to upload a square shape. Then I'm going to upload an image frame. Then I'm going to duplicate this. Next, you can drag and drop your brand pictures. Then I'm going to upload a text box. You're going to apply the font to Baby's New. 
and then I'm going to apply the lift effect. Next, you can download this page and upload it into the image banner here on Shopify. Under banner heights, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the second web banner section. And here's how this section appears on mobile. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the blog post section. First, I'm going to import a multi-row. I'll be removing the third row, but you can leave that in if you would like. And these two rows will represent your two featured blog posts. When you click on a row, under heading, you can type in the title for the blog post. And under text, you can write in a mini description to describe the blog post. Then you can retitle the button label and paste the link leading straight to that blog post. I'm going to apply the solid button style. Then you can upload images to represent the covers for those blog posts. Once you're done, that's how I designed the featured blog post section. And lastly, I'll be showing you how I designed the Instagram post section. First, I'm going to import an image banner, and I'll be removing the text and the button labels. Right below that, I'm going to import a rich text, and I'm going to remove the text. Then you can retitle this button label and paste the link leading straight to your brand's Instagram account. Here on Canva, I'm going to click add page. And then I'm going to upload a faded square element and you're going to reduce the opacity of this. Upload a square shape, then upload an image frame. Then I'm going to duplicate this. Then under upload files, you can upload the Instagram posts you'll be featuring straight from your computer. Then just drag and drop them onto those frames. Next, I'm going to upload an Instagram icon, then upload a text box. I'm going to put this in bold, then apply the font to Baby's New. Upload another text box. Here you can type in your brand's Instagram username, then apply the font Arial. Next, you're going to download this page and upload it into that image banner here on Shopify. Under banner heights, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. Once you're done, that is how I designed the featured Instagram post section. And by the way, here's how this section is going to appear on mobile. And here is the finished Shopify website. Don't forget, this pre-made Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully done-for-you Shopify website template. And if you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that website theme into your store. This website template is already laid out and designed for you, so all you have to do is add your pictures and change the text. And this is a full template bundle, so I've also included all of the Canva templates that you've seen me creating throughout this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva, so all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these templates. I've included a step-by-step -step installation guide to help you with installing and editing this Shopify template, and I will link that in my description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're interested in another style of Shopify website, check out this video here on my channel.